Hello, today's topic is a theory of computation. So let me tell you what do you gain by studying the talk, theory of computation. So we can build a skill using the talk. In computer, in computer mechanics, we build a, a, our logic using this. This is a good uh, problem solving skill to useful. Talk is also help you build your logic behind the program it's not a programming language but it's used to it's very tough to digest such thing but it's one of the toughest subject in computer science so how you must think you do it's build your skill behind that and such using the space how you use the space it also use, uh, tell you teach our us like how we using our skill and it's build your logic Second thing, if we, I'm giving you example, like we build a machines which are uh, generate a string, which strings end to the zero. Like this is your string, one zero, one zero, zero. So which have to your string end to the zero. So finally, you get your string. Such type of machine we have to generate. So humanly. Clearly see that this is a to zero, but in mechanically, again logically, if, if machine check first of all here, this is a zero, not this one zero, but here again any string is available, here there is another string is available, but this one is zero, no, this is a one. Then again if check next string is available here, there is any available, but this is a zero, yes, this is a zero, but Again, we check machine always take the next string which is on our present or not. So there is again string is present, this is a zero. So finally here machine stays. So this is your logic n and x string which is the string is n is a zero. So basically for the number compiler, any compiler checks logically, like x string, this is going to be the compiler. Compiler checks your result, it goes to finite loop or infinite loop. This one or this one. So always machine goes to the finite loop, not go to the infinite loop. There is no such kind of machines or system are available which goes to the infinite loop. Machine always goes to the finite loop. This is the final answer. So basically, Machine always checks your answer where goes its finite or infinite loop. Second thing, its value or not, its always checks its value or not. Now your topic starts to your formal language. Let me introduce the form for the formal language. Language we humanly speak language, this is also language, but not computer understands such type of language. So, subset of strings over an alphabet is a language. But what is alphabets? Alphabets are defined by the symbol. Like this is alphabet. This one is also alphabet. So, the symbols. So, we define the symbols which is our alphabets. And it's noted by sigma. This is called a sigma. This symbol is called sigma. And you define in curly bracket those things here. This one. Always sigmas denoted to the Sigma symbol is used for an alphabet, which alphabets includes the binary alphabet, uppercase alphabet, and decimal alphabet. So, what are the binary alphabet? Let me tell you. This is sigma. This is your binary alphabet. What is the uppercase alphabet? A. Go 
what are the decimal alphabets? 0, 1, 2, both 9. To the 9, last one, which is your decimal alphabet. Now, we look into the strings. Finite sequence of symbol. This is the string. Finite sequence of symbol. Like this. A, A, B, B, C. This is the string. Which is complicated. Right? It's a finite shape. Na? But A, A, B, B, C, D. So what do you complete with the finite sequence of symbols? This is called strings. Okay. So last, next one is show you. Substring. What is a substring? Let me tell you an example about the substring. So here an example, if W is produced by the X is there, then X is there to a string. But let me tell you, every string is a substring. Like, this is a string, B is a string. So, W is equal to X, A, B, C, Y, Z is a string. So, what is your substring? A, B, C, Y. B is a substring, so A, B, C, Y is a substring. Because every string is a substring, you can define like that. So another topic is the clean closure. Second one, this is show the length of your string. So, 
this is the length one, length two, length three, length four, like goes on. It shows your string, which is total. Whole string is your shown by sigma star. So we always show like this, like down, like down like this. This is your epsilon, zero is your epsilon. This is your length, length of string. Here I am giving you an example. AA always appears in a pair, like AA, AAB is a string, this is a string, but there is a condition about that. What is the condition? Condition is AA always appears. What does that mean? That is mean A A always shows with another one. Which we cannot write like this. Only A A. We have to write like this. A A B. Here solution. This is like this, and this is the solution. This formula is A A B A A B B. A A A A B or that goes on like you can write like this A A B B. This is also like that. So like goes. You can write like this. This is a solution for this condition. What is the condition? Condition is the A A always appears in a pair. So what is a pair? A A is with B B. A A B B also like that. A A A B. This is also a term because A is not single, which is appears also in B. 